heavily, heavily influenced by country music from a really early age. I was raised in a really small town close to Memphis, and most of what was on the radio was George Jones and Tammy Wynette and uh, Tanya Tucker and certainly Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson and people like that. So I was introduced to it early and um, was brought up listening to it. I've been long, a long way from here. I put on a poncho, played for mosquitoes, drank till I was thirsty again. We went searching through thrift store jungles. Found Geronimo's rifle, Marilyn's lipstick, and Benny Goodman's corset and pin. Well, okay, I made this up. I promised you I'd never give up. If it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. If it makes you Get down, real low down. You listen to cold train, derail your own train. Who hasn't been there before? I come around, around the hard way. Your comics in bed, scrape the mold off the bread, and serve your French toast again. Well, okay, I still get stoned. Well, I'm not the kind of girl you take home that makes you happy. It can't be that. Because I think that the point of rock and roll from a very, very early stage was that um, it was a rebellious attitude. It was a comment on what was going on socially, particularly in youth culture. And I think if you look at rap music, that that is really the new rock and roll. And that's what is really happening as far as a statement being made about what's going on in youth culture. It makes you